to the tour. We're going to start in the bunkhouse, so come on back with me. Now, all three of our children sleep in here. This is the back of the RV. Brooke, our three-year-old, sleeps up here in the very pink My Little Pony Shimmer and Shine um, bunk. Underneath here, when we got the RV, was a couch that pull, pulls out. Um, we didn't need that. We needed a crib because I have an almost two-year-old who still sleeps in his crib. So we pulled that out, put his crib in, and put um, some drawers for his little clothes. Um, and then down there you'll see we have a heater and we have a fan because you never know what the temperature is going to be like. And then if you come in over here, our eight-year-old Tara sleeps up here. Um, there's more headroom, there's places for her to plug in her devices, and it just gives her a place to read or do homework while she's in here. There is storage underneath all of the steps here where we have the girls, uh, the three-year-old's clothes go in here, Tara's clothes go in here, all their bathing suits are in here, and then Tara's tops and bottoms go in these two drawers. Um, down here also we have this little bean bag and it has all of the kids' stuffed animals in it. It was a way for us to kind of keep them contained and they can pull out a few to sleep with um, each night. In here we um, put command hooks so they can hang their most used items so we don't have to keep putting them away. So like their sweatshirts and rain jackets, uh, Tara's book bag that she likes to carry when we go out. Also, at the bottom of the steps, we keep all of their shoes. It's just an easy way for them to be able to be um, part of their chores is to put their shoes away, and it's an easy place for them to put them. Um, we did let the girls decorate the walls. Tara picked these butterfly decals. They're just from Walmart, and Brooke picked My Little Pony. So, um, And then they got to pick out their own uh, sheets when we were there. We'll let Ben do that when he gets a little older and has a little couple more preferences. Also in here and throughout the RV, we added a, um, blink. We added blink. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it's a Wi-Fi enabled, um, kind of video security kind of thing that we can use while we're out and about. We can check on Vector. If the kids are back here playing and we're outside doing stuff, we can check on them remotely. Um, but it just runs off of the Wi-Fi that we have here. And we can um, check the temperature. Yes. When we're not here. We can check the temperature. We can set it to motion. So, you know, if Ben's in here taking a nap and we might be down at the playground, um, we can come, we can get a little motion alert and know that he's starting to move and wake up so we can head back if, you know, we're just five minutes down the way. Um, this does have a sliding pocket door that connects with a magnet. Um, it's very difficult to open, <laughs> so the children have a bit of difficulty. Tara's figured out that she can just pull it from the bottom and it opens up a little easier. Um, but then when we're underway, we can just stow this with a snap. Um, and we'll show you more of that. The only other thing we added in here was um, these lights that were in Tara's room, just because none of the kids really like to sleep in the dark. Um, and some of the places we have stayed, some of the state parks have been very dark. Uh, no street lights for these city kids. Um, so these stay on um, at night for them. It helps so if Tara has to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night or if one of them cries in the middle of the night, we're not stumbling through the RV in the dark. Um, but there is nice lighting in here and um, when we do move and are underway this whole framed out area slides in about what three feet four feet Brian yeah yeah so um, it gets really close in here um, but we'll show you that later on in the video what it kind of looks like when we open everything up but the kids really like this space it gives them their own room and it gives us a place for Ben to take a nap during the day that's quiet so we've really enjoyed having the bunkhouse for the kids. Okay, so out of the bunkhouse and into the living space. We bought this RV because of this living space, because it is so big and so functional for our family. When you come out of the bunkhouse, we have where some of the kids' things are, their books, some of um, the other things that they can um, access. I have some school stuff in here for Tara and for Brooke. We keep the Legos in here and crayons and just things that they can play with inside. Um, 
we don't know what to do with this space really. Um, so right now it has our beautiful map that we are slowly uncovering. Over here are the recliners that do all kinds of different things. They have massage, they have heating, they pop out, obviously the cup holders. We love these huge windows. A lot of the RVs that we went into when we were walking around had those really small windows. Um, we loved these. The first thing we did when we got it was take the valances off on the sides or the curtain things that come on them just because we wanted it to be as open as possible. All of these windows um, open in some way so we get cross breezes and, and different things and they all have the same shades that are throughout the RV. There's plenty of lights. There's switches for lights all over the place. Um, we have our calendar here, our eight-year-old Tara always asking questions, when's moving day, how far do we have to go, how long is it going to take, and so I'll write where we are each day, when it's a moving day, how many miles, and approximately how long I think it might take us to get to where we're going, so instead of asking me, she can come right here and check it out. Um, over here is kind of a catch-all of our things. Um, up here is our pantry. We keep all of the food up here. Um, it's really stocked right now. <laughs> We're about ready to move, so everything's kind of in there. But up here we got IKEA containers that fit, what, what is it, eight across, Brian? Mm -hmm. So eight of these fit perfectly across and they keep a lot of the smaller things in place, like spices and different sauces and things that we like to eat. Um, in this cabinet, all of the um, monitoring different things are in here about the black tanks and the, that kind of stuff we can see that later the controls are in there and slides for the bunkhouse in the kitchen um the girls hair stuff is kept under here but our vectors dog things um this is where this has kind of ended up living just because it's there's a plug here so we have our little vacuum that we can use we can vacuum the whole rv in about 15 minutes <laughs> which is a far cry from our house um, we keep Vector's bowls down here, um, his water and his food, and these are kind of like junk drawers for us right now. We keep bags in here for uh, diapers and um, some of just the things we use for Vector, like when he goes out. Um, both of our, we have a double freezer, refrigerator, it's not that exciting. Um, and this is a pass-through. I always saw these and was like, what is that? Is it just two different compartments? No, it's all one. Um, it just has those two, do two doors on it. Um, we do not use our oven for anything except for storage. Um, <laughs> so we keep this, um, this glass part will flip up and become like a backsplash, but we just keep it taped down because we use it more for storage of snacks that the kids can get into. Um, and then we have little people, so we had to take the knobs off of our things. But we keep um, baking dishes and stuff for the convection oven in here. It's very clean because we don't use it. Um, we don't use it because our microwave is also a convection oven. So we can either microwave or we can do the microwave convection. So we're able to bake in here, make you know cinnamon rolls. We've done some casseroles in here. Uh, we make toast in here. Um, this also holds a lot of, right now, the stuff that sits here normally when we're, heat, when we're staying somewhere goes into the microwave um, when we move and we're getting ready to move early tomorrow morning so we've already kind of got it stowed away in there like chips and snacks for the kids. <laughs> They're laughing outside, it's making me giggle. Um, this is the um, Instapot home. Instapot home. It, it fits underneath here. It's one of our widest uh, cabinet so that's why we keep the instant pot in there um, and we do use these to keep things in their space when we're moving um, the TV can come out it's um, so when we're staying somewhere we'll usually put some things behind it just to get them out of sight um, but then when we're getting ready to move we, we move back this is our little Alexa here that comes in handy when we want to hear some music or have her answer a question a lot of Brian's like electronics and just stuff that he uses to keep everything running and whatever are up in here. Um, and these are just sterile white con containers you can get at Target or Walmart um, with lids. We do have um, stereo down here and because Ben can get into here we don't keep anything in here. Um, but the stereo is under there. And then this is a heater that looks like a fireplace. 
Um, we can have it on with heat or without heat. You can time it. You can do all kinds of things. And then we have some more storage under here. The island is wonderful. This is where we prepare meals. This is where Brian washes all the dishes. Um, but it just kind of gives us a nice place to get things ready for the kids. Um, these do come up. I'm not going to open it because we have dirty dishes in there because you know, we're still getting ready for tomorrow. But when we have these in, even if we just have one in, it gives you so much more space to prepare, to dry, to do anything that you need to do. Under here we keep Vector's food, um, so cleaning supplies. There's a couple of bottles of liquor under there that came from our house. Um, and then there's drawers in here that we're, they're quite long. And uh, Brian was able to find some container kind of things that um, keep all the silverware in place. Yeah, I was actually pretty happy about those. I found them at Target, mm -hmm. and they were these little individual right. things, and they snapped together, and they were the exact width of those yeah. drawers. So, and then we have kind of, we just eat off of these IKEA plastic plates because it's what the kids eat off of. We're not using, we don't have any Corel ware or any type of like, um, real dishes. We either eat off the plastic that the kids like or we eat off of um, paper products. Nothing that can break. Nothing that can break. Um, yeah. And then underneath the oven we have another drawer. This is where we keep the skillet we used out last night for supper so it sits right on top of here. An electric skillet. Yeah, yeah an electric skillet and then um, just our really long utensils. We just leave them down there. Um, so yeah, that's what goes under there. Um, if you saw a video a couple weeks back, this is the carpet that we got from Walmart that matched the carpet that came with the RV almost identically. Um, and Vector has been laying on this. The kids love laying on it. Tara's fallen asleep here a couple of nights um, watching videos uh, with us. And that's our living space. Um, both sides of this living space um, are slides and they move out. So anything that, where you see this big frame um, is the thing that moves out and I'll show you how those move out in another video. Yeah. Alrighty, so moving out of the living space, our control panel is here for all the lights, the two slides in the back of the, ho of the house, and then um, all of our indicators for our tanks. And then over here we installed a sash lock, like from a window to um, keep the littles in because their little fingers can open the screen door just fine but they can't reach this and Brian installed it high enough and low enough that he can get to it from outside and unlock it if it gets locked when he's outside. Over on this little wall we have um, Vector's leash right here by the door. He can indicate that he needs to go out by just jumping up and hitting it. Um, the slide for the one that's where all of the living space is, uh, is right here because when all of the walls are in, you can't reach the control panel, so they put the slide control here. Um, also up here is our temperature indicators. Uh, we have the freezer, the refrigerator, outside temperature and inside temperature, and it gives us the temperature and the humidity just to let us know how we're doing outside there. Um, oh. There's a light here too. Oh, look at that. Um, so come on into the bathroom. So this is the bathroom. Um, we have a nice big medicine cabinet in here. Peek. There's room on the sink to keep um, some of the toothpaste and lotions and stuff. We have a place for a hand towel on this wall. Uh, the sink's not huge, but I mean, we wash hands and brush our teeth here. Uh, we are probably going to replace this with a gooseneck so we can get our hands under a little bit easier. Uh, lots of storage in these um, drawers. Lots of storage underneath here that we're not even using everything down there. Um, we have the shower which is quite big. Um, it's nice during the day to take a shower because we have lots of natural light. Um, but it is well lit in here anyway. Um, I got this tub here from Ikea. Both of the littles, the almost two year old and the three and a half year old, fit in there individually, not together because they're, they're kind of big for that. But I just fill that up with the shower and they just sit in there and play. I can close the doors and they can splash just like they came in the bathtub. Um, and they seem to really like it. Um, and then I can 
uh, just use the shower head to, because it comes off, but to kind of get the soap off of them. Um, down here we also have um, a new um, storage area where we can keep extra toilet paper and some of the other kind of toiletry things in the bathroom. I have a foot flush porcelain toilet in here. Um, and for those of you who haven't started using your RVs yet and are getting into foot flush stuff, you really get the hang of it. Um, after the first couple of flushes, um, it's not as difficult as I thought it might be to get used to. And the three-year-old is now learning how to do it and pushing it down enough. Um, we have lots of storage up here. Um, this is usually filled with towels. Um, it's laundry day for the towels, um, but it holds six towels in there, no problem. Um, yeah, so this is the bathroom. And uh, when Brian swings around, we do have some potty training going on. So if he shows you that in there, that's our little seat there. Um, we did install six command hooks here our hats and Brian's um, headlamp. headlamp for when he goes out with Vector in the evening um, they are all up there. This was very full a couple weeks ago because we had all of our rain gear and our winter gear plus our just jackets so that was there. I forgot what we added this one for. Christmas. Oh, we had Christmas decoration there when we were in here for Christmas. So come on into the bedroom. Hi Vector. Vector's favorite spot to lay, sweet boy. Look at that sweet boy. <laughs> so this room works pretty well for us. Um, we don't spend a lot of time in here other than sleeping. Um, and there's a lot of storage in here. So on either side of the bed is where Brian and I keep our clothes. We both have kind of like um, hanging drawers, so to speak, that hold our different clothes. And then around the top there is storage, um, just things that we don't need as often. And they're pretty deep. Um, we're able to keep our um, phones plugged in at night. My glasses I keep over there on the ledge behind or above the bed. Um, and then we do have some storage under the bed as well. We can lift up this. And we keep kind of like our beach towels and um, winter coats and some other things. The, this rig was... Um, wired not wired set up to accept um, washer and dryer so there is a um, water hookups hookups thank you <laughs> water hookups in there and so we it's a washer dryer like two-in-one kind of thing it's fun deed um, we're able to do small loads um, and they wash and dry at the same time well um, and then there's two drawers here where Brian and I also keep things that uh, like clothes and stuff um, we installed the television. The girls spend time in here when once Ben has gone to bed because he goes to bed a lot earlier than they do. Um, they'll come in here and watch movies so they're not so loud. Um, so it works out really well. We have three zones in the evening um, where the girls can be in here watching silly movies or reading or doing whatever. Brian and I can be in the living room watching shows, doing work, and Ben can have quiet in the uh, bunkhouse. Um, Brian installed this Level Mate Pro. We turn it on um, either if we remember before we leave um, to, to move to a new site or when we get there I'll pop in and turn it on. But it um, lets us know on an app on Brian's phone if we're level and it does it within what a quarter of an inch. Mm -hmm. Let's us know side to side and front to back. Um, so we've been using that and it has been wonderful. Um, it's a little scary when it says that the nose needs to come down 16 inches though and you only have 12 inches down to go So that requires a little bit of maneuvering um, But like I said, we installed this TV uh, So we can have two zones. Um, I didn't show you in the living room where the um, blink um, Video monitoring system is but we keep this one up here mostly because um, Vector likes to lay in here and we can monitor again the temperature and um, and stuff to make sure he's not too hot or too cold when we're out and about. Um, but yeah, so this is our RV. This is our home. So while we were filming, the kids were awesome and Tara was amazing keeping them out here. Um, they were playing with all of their sand toys with the rocks and the pebbles and they have their little horse trailer RV. And Tara cleaned off this whole area, so it looks really nice since we're leaving tomorrow. So that was kind of 
Very helpful. Thanks, Tara. <laughs> oh, there's a chair over there. There's back there again. And Brookie. Brookie, say hi. Hi. I know where to hold on to. <laughs> Brian doesn't like this because we're the same height. It's really cool to me though. Yeah. It's our first time standing in the doorway of the yeah. RV. So thank you so much for coming along with us on our RV tour. If you have any questions or comments about where we put stuff or if you have suggestions about where we could change things up and maybe make things a little easier for ourselves, please leave those down in the comments below. We appreciate it. Yep, and make sure to uh, follow us on Instagram, uh, like our page on Facebook, Please subscribe to these videos, uh, hit the bell, leave us a comment, give us a like, do all that cool stuff so we can keep making these videos and sharing our adventure with everybody. And you can see all the cute kids. Hey. See all the cute hey. kids. Hey. And the dog. Like that kid over there. <laughs> so thanks for watching. We will see everyone later. Bye.